I mean, I am so proud to be an American. Actually, she said I was about to take my own life. That you're not alone and that your brain is lying to you and that people do care about you and you will be missed if you're gone. I lost my daughter. She died by suicide. And I looked at him. I knew he was dead. And then I had to go treat the guy who shot him. And don't give up. Negu. N-E-G-U. Never, ever give up. Thank you for tuning in to this special series of Faith in Your Recovery. We're coming to you live from Lucas Oil Stadium at the Fire Department International Conference. We hope you enjoy these stories from the front lines. Stay tuned and God bless. Welcome to Faith in Your Recovery. I'm here today with Anthony File. Anthony, welcome. Good to have you with us. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. So oh, absolutely. Looking forward to this. Ah, oh, looking forward to hearing <laughs> what you have to say. Anthony, tell the folks where you're from. Uh, I'm from uh, Northport, Florida, uh, southwest Florida. It's about uh, 45 minutes north of Fort Myers. Is it a little warmer there than here? It's a Indiana? lot warmer. It's a, it's a lot warmer here, there than here. Uh, I can't imagine. Uh, yeah, we, we left in shorts when we got here, and it was, it was a little too cold for us. Us. Yeah, yeah, there's not a lot of us Hoosier folks walking yeah. around in yes. shorts, yes. okay? But we're glad you're here. We're glad you've Thank taken you. the time to Appreciate share it. with us. Uh, Appreciate it. We're wanting to hear your story. Here at okay. Faith in Your Recovery, we're about all things recovery. Okay, awesome. And we realize we've all had a different journey into yes. the hole, and we've got to climb out a different way than anybody else. Yes, so we look fact. forward to the uniqueness that is okay. you. Good. So uh, let's just begin with how long have you been a part of the of the work you're in tell the uh, folks what okay. that is um i've been involved in the fire service uh for 30 years uh i've been a paid, paid firefighter uh, for 22 um i uh been an officer probably about seven or eight years for the last seven or eight years so uh it's been an interesting journey uh it's it's a good career uh, but it's left uh, left a lot of marks and uh, mental mental issues. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, you know, it's it's like that for a lot of people. You know. Okay. Um, is know. that there in Northport? Uh, I live in Northport. Uh, I work in Charlotte County, which is just south uh, of where I live. Okay. Um, so it's about a 15 minute drive. So it's it's not a not a bad commute to work. <laughs> yeah, you said it's been 20 years plus. Yeah, right? it's been 20 years. Yeah, 22 years. So. Um, it's been good. It's been good. What is it that keeps you showing up at work each day? Um, well, <laughs> now now it's been a little bit different since I've had my um, you know recovery. Um, you know, before it was all about uh, you know the job um, uh, and running the calls. Now it's uh, I came back to the fire service after my uh, rehab um, because I feel like I, I have more to do for personnel in the fire service, not not just the patients. Um, I feel that's an important part now uh, in, in my journey uh, in life. So, um, and, and I've been able to do that, you know, with the Worldwide Peer Support Group. Uh, and it sounds to me like there's quite a camaraderie yeah. <laughs> in your in yeah, your yes. teamwork and everything that yeah. takes place. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, it, it's changed a lot for me. Um, you know, since I got out uh, of rehab, um, you know, I, I have a different aspect, a different look on life. Um, you know, it's 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 not the same as it was, um, and and that's fine, and that's okay. Sure. You know, um, but I still do enjoy going to work. Uh, okay, you know, which is good. Let's go back pre rehab. Okay. Let's even go back pre addiction. Okay, tell us about uh, Tony, who he was back <laughs> then, what life was like before you started that spiral downhill. Well, for me, I I, I was you know a full hard firefighter. You know, what I mean, the, the t-shirts, the the memor- memorabilia. Um, everything that goes along with that, you know, I, I love the job. Um, I couldn't work enough. Um, you know, ran a lot of calls over the years. Um, unfortunately, you know, some of those calls they're 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 not uh, they're not pleasant. Um, you know, and, and for me, I, I've been called a black cloud at work just because of the kind of calls that uh, I would always end up on. Um, and then, you know that, that ends up taking your toll. I can't um, imagine. Yeah, there's uh, I've had a lot of ki- uh, calls with kids that d- didn't make it. Um, you know, and uh, for me, you know, I thought I was good with it back then because, you know, and even now, uh, the mentality is, you know, just suck it up, um, you know, which uh, we know that's that's not a healthy. That's it's going to catch up with <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, it's going to catch up. It's going to catch up to you. You know, you got to have a healthy outlet outlet. Uh, outside of work, uh, yeah. you know, to and, and a good support system. Uh, what about your life before you became a firefighter? Uh, it was just work. <laughs> okay. My my goal was to become a firefighter. You know, so that was a 
was it a dream from yeah. being a yeah, it, little it, guy? It was, it was. Was uh, it the glamour of it? I, I don't know what, what it was. It was something television that just... Yeah. <laughs> in a yeah, right? combination. <laughs> Emergency 51 TV show from the from the 70s. Yes, yes, yes. Um, no, it, it, was, it was just the calling that I had. Um, you know, my wife has been a big supporter of that. We just had our 30th anniversary. Congratulations. Um, thanks, thanks, appreciate that. Uh, we just had our first grandkid as well. Well, um, so, and another congrats. Yeah, thanks, thanks. It's, it's been exciting. Uh, a lot of changes, you know, have come on. Um, she's been a big advocate of, you know, whatever I, I feel like I need to do in my life. She's been a big support uh, of that. So, um, you know, I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't, you know, for her. So, um, but before before being a firefighter, it was just it was just work, uh, raising kids. We have four kids. Um, the youngest is 20 now. So we're we're we're, <laughs> we're moving into that stage in our life where. Um, it's kind of an empty nest type thing. So. Not a bad place. No, to it's be. not. It's it's a hard adjustment uh, because Absolutely. you know, for, you know, for so many years it was just you know go 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 with the kids yeah. and, and yeah. work, and, and now it's not that. And uh, so uh, I'm trying to find my place uh, in in life. You sure. Know what I mean? You know, which is kind of hard because it's during you know, turned a page of a very long life of you know raising kids. So yeah. Uh, but it's been good. You know, we, we do a lot of stuff together now that we weren't able to do before. So you know, All right. it's been good. Tell us about the slide that took you into the addiction. <laughs> okay. I cannot imagine the stress, the strain, the PTSD, <laughs> the loss, yeah. you yeah. know, the personal cautions you have to take yeah. as a firefighter. Yeah, it's um, it, it was difficult. Um, it kind of happened over a course, you know, of many years of, of running calls, you know, and, and like any firefighter. Um, you know, we get we get a lot of calls, and I just happen to have uh, a lot of calls uh, that, that where kids uh, didn't make it. And um, you know, at the time, I was good with it, I thought. And then uh, it was probably about four years ago um, that they uh, those calls started coming back uh, mentally, and uh, it started affecting you know my sleep and and, and everything. And uh, you know, I, I I to cope with that, you know, I was I was probably sleeping. For about two years, I think I was averaging uh, being up about 72 hours at a time. Um, and then I would fall asleep for maybe an hour or two and then be up for another 48. And, um, you know, and it didn't help with that work either, being busy at work, running calls, oh being up all night. And then I would go home and my two days off was uh, was basically uh, just just staying awake, um, you know. And uh, it was nothing for me to be up at, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning uh, crying my eyes out at the kitchen sink, you know, like, you know, over the loss yeah, of yeah, the I'm day like, I'm like, what, the yeah, what, what, am I, you know, what is going on with this? What, what, you know, why am I like this? And, uh, you know, of course, for me, I, I thought that, you know, it was just me. I'm the only one, like, going through this kind of thing, you know. Um, so that kind of kind of puts you into a mental state of, of uh, isolation. Absolutely. Uh, you know, um, you know so, so to kind of help combat, um, you know, some of the pain and uh, anxiety and uh, the sleeplessness, I started drinking and, um, you know, and of course, that led to a, a really bad addiction. Um, you know, it was nothing for me in my two days off to go through, uh, you know, one to two bottles a night um, by myself. So, you know, just to kind of combat that that pain that was there, and then uh, the, the sleeplessness, and then got to the point where uh, I could drink that much and still not sleep. Um, so then, that's when the addiction kind of took over, and it kind of ran everything that I did circled around me. Uh, drinking, um, you know, and uh, unfortunately, you know, it it, it is what it is. Um, I, I'm I'm not ashamed of it, but I I'm glad where I'm at now. Uh, you know, you don't want to go back. I, I, I no, I don't want to go back. Um, you know, because it is it's a difficult life to live. Um, I hit it very well. I hit it from friends. I hit it from my family. I hit it from my wife. Um, she she really didn't know. Uh, anything that was going on um, even when I came out and you know told everybody hey listen um, I'm going to rehab um, you know my co-workers were like you know, before I said well I can I kind of explain what was going on and they're like there's no way it doesn't how, how could you be like that? so you because were very functional I was, yeah, as an I, was, I was a functioning alcoholic yes uh, very very much so um, I still led my life, but but at night it was it was a different story, um, and I felt like nobody knew the pain that I was going through, you know, um, and I didn't want to bring my wife into it and share it with her because I didn't want her to feel that as well, you know what I mean? Um, so it, it led to a lot of uh, isolation. Uh, it, it was it was crazy, you know. It was and it, it was nothing for her to go to bed at you know nine ten o'clock at night, 
And, um, and she knew I wasn't sleeping well just because, you know, of, of where I was working. And um, she would go to bed, and I would just drink all night. And she would get up at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. She's like, oh, you got up early. And I'm like, yeah, I got up early. Yeah. I, never, I never went to bed. <laughs> I just sat there on the couch, and I drank. Um, you know, and I did that for almost two years um, until, you know, my body and my mind just, just kind of had enough. And uh, unfortunately, you know, I had uh, two suicide attempts, uh, you know, because I was, I was done. Um, I was done being that way. You know, I was tired. My body was just, you know, exhausted. Um, you know, of course, the alcohol doesn't help either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so fortunately, it didn't, it didn't work out, you know. Um, but, you know, she finally, you know, realized there was something going on. And, um, you know. During that time, did you confess those suicide attempts to anybody? Or was nobody, that a secret nobody, as that well? Was, that was a secret. You were the yeah, only yeah, one uh, who yeah, knew. Yeah, nobody, nobody else okay. knew. Okay. Usually the case. Um, yeah, I yeah, didn't know. yeah. So, and then, and she didn't even know that until after I went into uh, rehab. Um, so, uh, as far as I know, she didn't. You know, she didn't let on to that she knew. Um, but you know, the you know the, after the second attempt, um, you know, she the next day she's like, you, I, I think you need to get some help. Um, and I said, oh, yeah, I, I agree, hundred percent. So, I did some research, and um, you know, I was trying to find you know some sort of support group you know, for firefighters uh, with PTSD or an addiction. Um, there wasn't a whole lot out there, um, you know, and locally, um, I said, well, maybe I can just find a counselor or a therapist or something. And, you know, I looked on, online and there's, you know, there was a lot of therapists online that kind of dealt with PTSD and addiction and stuff. Um, you know, but at the time, um, COVID was in full swing. Um, so there was, nobody was like open. And, um, you know, if you met, it was an hour a week online and I was well, I thought I was well past an hour a week online. I, I needed something a little bit more in, intensive, uh, in, in, inpatient type thing. You know what I mean? Um, because there was no way I could continue, uh, an hour once a, once a week for an hour and still not drink. Right. You know what I mean? And still go through what I was going through. Um, so I found the, uh, uh, center of excellence up in Maryland. It's a, it's strictly for, um, firefighters. Um, Tell the folks a little about the Center uh, for Yeah, the Center of Excellence, it's a really nice place up in Maryland. Uh, it's for IAFF members. Um, they do a lot of mental health, uh, PTSD, substance abuse uh, recovery. Um, it's, it's an inpatient program. Um, it's, it's, they probably have some of the best people there, I, I, I think. Um, I don't have a lot to compare to because I've only been to one place. Well, it worked it, for you, it, yes. And it, it worked for me. I, I, you know, I checked in August 17, 2020, and I got out October 1st. Um, I spent 47 days in an inpatient uh, care for mental health and substance. And, um, you know, in there, it, uh, you know, there's a lot of things from my childhood that I thought I was, I was good with. And, of course, that, you know, that, that ended up coming up and uh, dealing with all the traumas that I, that I went through. Um, uh, we all, you know, we almost always trace back addiction yes, yeah. to those early yes. childhood yeah, yeah, 100, experiences. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, you yeah. said it perfectly. You yeah. felt like they were behind you, yes, but obviously not, no, they weren't. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, I must have buried them pretty good, and then they were they were brought up at the center. So denial's um, powerful. It is. It is. It is. Hundred um, percent. But uh, you know, I spent forty-seven days there. I went through, uh, you know, uh, trauma group therapy, um, which f focuses on the traumas that, that are affecting you, um, and then uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, classes. Uh, no, not yoga. <laughs> they have yoga there, and I did yoga, and I didn't think I was going to like it, but that that was surprisingly helpful, you know. And meditation, uh, which I didn't think I could meditate, um, you know, that was very helpful. Um, and then they have an AA program there at night, and uh, so. Uh, I even did. Um, so uh, you went in there wanting recovery, yes. and it sounds to me like you yeah. put in the work yes. to get to recovery. And, it, and, it, and, it, and, it, and that's the thing about recovery, is you, you gotta want to. You gotta want to be better. It uh, doesn't matter how much your wife yeah, wants no, it, how no, much your no, kids it want it yeah, for if you. To, if you don't want it, you're, 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 you might make it, but you're gonna struggle more so than than not. Um, and I was just done living the way I was, I was living, you know, yeah, uh, it, yeah. was, it wasn't a good life, um, you know, cause I had isolated everybody in, in my life. Um, but, uh, you know, I did hypnosis there, uh, as well, uh, for some of the traumatic events and, uh, it, it worked out really well. Um, you know, I got out of there and, uh, you know, it was kind of weird. It's still kind of weird cause they, they took a part of me and it's, it's kind of wiped clean, um, so to speak, uh, not in a bad way. Um, so I've been out for it's been uh, almost 20 months now so 
Um, I've been sober for 20 months, which is good. You know what I mean? You bet it's um, good. But I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out who I am and, and, you know, what I'm doing with my life. And uh, so I've kind of followed this path with, you know, Skip and the Worldwide Peer Support Group and uh, some other uh, local um, agencies that, that my wife and I are involved with. And um, it's, it's been good. I've met a lot of really, pe- really good people, uh, a lot of people with similar, similar pasts. And, and that's nice. You know, that helps in my recovery. Um, you know, talking about you know my experiences and listen to it other walks people. you away it, from it, that it, isolation. It, 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 it does. I it does. It does. Totally uh, convinced. When yeah. we share our story, we're sharing somebody else's as well. Uh, Somebody's 100%. nodding their head out there listening yes, yes. to this today, yes. going, "I've yes. been there. I've been there." That's yeah, my and, and, story. and that's and that's my goal. You know, I mean, when I tell my story, if it if it gets to one person, then then awesome. You yeah. know, what I mean? um, you know, and it's, it's 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 been a good good journey because. Um, you know, I, I've been open about it at work as well. What um, are the guys at work? Your fellow uh, so firefighters. For the most part, everybody everybody is supportive. Um, there's still people I think that are um, kind of standoffish with me. Um, I wouldn't say I lost a lot of friends from work, uh, but they're not as close as they were, and, and that and that's fine uh, because it's a scary subject to talk about PTSD, suicide, mental health, and, we, and addiction. And you've got to wonder how many of them are dealing yes. with something and, and I, similar, yeah, yes. and they don't want their yes. secret yes. Yeah. told. <laughs> and uh, so you know, it's, it's been it's been very supportive at work. Um, uh, everybody everybody's always asking me or calling me, hey man, how's it going? How you doing? And uh, I've been able to help a lot of people have called me and say, hey man, I, I got this going on. And um, I said, well, this is, you know, this is what I, I did. You know, when I was in the same situation, I said, you know, uh, if all else fails, there's always, you know, checking in someplace. You know, well, I don't want to do that. Um, you know, and a lot of people aren't there yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like yeah. we talked about, you know, you got to want to. Uh, exactly. You know, and some people just need somebody to talk to. I think uh, accountability know? is yes. an extremely important uh, element. A hundred percent. A tool we've yes. got to have in our yes. box. Yes, 100%. Somebody that we're straight up honest with and when we're not, they call us out. Yes, a hundred percent. No, I don't yeah, believe yeah. And that I, And I have people that, that I'm, uh, I'm on the phone with a lot um, that have been through recovery. And, you know, I'm always calling, checking on them. They're calling, checking on me. And, and you know, and I can tell in their voice, you know, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right. Well, no, you're not. I can tell because I, exactly. I, I know. And they do the same for me. You know, I still struggle with, with the addiction. Uh, not, not on a daily basis, but, you know, there, there are triggers that, that, you know, start putting me down that rabbit hole. Um, so know, what keeps you out of the hole? Uh, my wife. Okay. There's nothing wrong with <laughs> she, that. She can usually identify when I'm going down that rabbit hole quicker than I can. Um, you know, which is fine. And it is funny because uh, we were just talking about on the way up here, uh, a, a big trigger for me is hand sanitizer, believe it or not. Um, and I didn't realize that for a long time, you know, because we never, you know, when people started going out and about again, um, hand sanitizer was everywhere and people oh were constantly my. using it, you know what I mean? And, and my wife and I would go out shopping or something and, and it was nothing for, for her to come in the car and she puts that stuff on and all of a sudden, I'm in a bad mood, and, and I don't know why. And uh, I'm going down this, this rabbit hole that, I, that, I, that I'm like, man, why am I here today? I was in such a good mood earlier, and it took me a while to figure it out. It's the smell of the hand sanitizer, because that stuff is like 70 80% alcohol. Yes. Um, so and it, it took me a while to figure that out. And I'm like, hey, listen, we, we can't use this stuff anymore, because it, it, it really like it, it like triggers me hard. And uh, she goes, man, I didn't even think about that. I go, I, I didn't either, because it took me you know a long time to figure out, you know, we're going in some place or... Um, and I'm, I'm, also, I'm smelling hand sanitizer. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm, why there, am I here today? What, what, what's yeah, going on? You there know? are people who yeah. would never give that no, a thought no, that that no. would be a trigger for um, somebody yeah. who deals with alcohol. Yeah. Uh, so, and it was like that on the, on the flight up here uh, from Florida. Uh, there was a couple next to me that, that used it, and it, I had no place to go. I, I, I couldn't leave. You know, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't get up and walk around. Not going to so, step outside yeah, your flight. No, no. I bet so, you wanted to. No, I did. Yeah, it was. It did. You know. So you know, my wife was there, and she 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 knew. Um, you know, she 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 kind of talked me you know, talked me through it and stuff. Um, it just when you go through a recovery uh, center, they give you a lot of tools in your toolbox to work with. Yes. It, you know. Um, some meditation, mindful, mindfulness, and stuff like that. So uh, it's just something I have to work through, and, and uh, you know, it does stink. I don't like it sometimes, but it, well, is, it, it is where I'm at, you know. The key is you know it's yeah, a trigger, yeah, yeah. and now exactly. you can recognize that exactly. and realize it's only hand sanitizer. Exa- exa- don't exa- let yes. it become more <laughs> yeah. than that, yeah, right? Yeah, exa- exa- exactly, exactly. Yeah. So um, it's where I'm at today. So, uh, but you know, if it wasn't for you know all the support that I've had, um, I, w- I wouldn't be here. So well, I'm, I'm extremely thankful for that. You know, friends, family. Oh my. Um, you know, my wife, my kids, uh, the whole nine yards. So, 
Uh, they've been they've been real good. <laughs> well, earlier you mentioned even that you were finding yourself again, a yes. new identity. Yes, yes 100%. A part of that's recognizing uh-huh. and realizing those triggers yes. like you uh, are yes. with the sanitizer. Yeah. So yeah. you're getting yes. there. Yeah, yeah. That's I, a piece getting, of that definitely, evidence definitely. that... Uh, Three years ago, wouldn't have mattered. No, to no, you. It, 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 you'd it, it, ask for the yes, sanitizer. Yes, yeah, well, probably, probably drank it. Probably drank it. <laughs> let me uh, let me steer this just a little okay. bit different direction. How much of the same issue, be it drugs or alcohol, be it depression, be it some sort of other mental health, do you see in the field? Uh, you know, with your fellow firefighters, do you? Yes, um, I think I think um, it's it's becoming more and more uh, com- a commonality of PTSD, mental health, and addiction uh, in, in all first responders. Um, it's becoming an issue. Um, it's it's kind of weird because um, when I got out of out of the center, uh, I had to do something to to occupy my brain, um, and, and so I wouldn't be you know focused on uh, the rabbit holes. Um, so I went back to school and I finished my bachelor's degree, and um, of course. Uh, you know, one of the papers I, I wrote, um, you know, was about PTSD in, in the fire service. Makes sense. Uh, and so, you know, and it was, and it was, it was kind of good because I, I did a lot of research and, um, you know, we're, we're starting to rival the military uh, with PTSD and, and addiction, um, you know, and it's becoming more popular of an idea that, that it's an issue uh, all of the United States and the world. Uh, um, you know, it's just one of those things that I think it's, it's becoming more progressive uh, you know, with identifying and, and not, not being such a, a stigma, um, you know what I mean? Um, which, which is good. Uh, I think, you know, five years, 10 years from now, I think it's going to be, you know, uh, a lot better. Um, I know there's, there's agencies now that, that uh, require um, their new hire personnel to go through some sort of uh, mental health training okay. uh, to identify the, you know, the effects of PTSD. Um, you know, my department, when I got back, they, um, they asked if I would be willing to do that with all of our new hires, uh, go in and kind of tell my story, uh, how I got there and, and, and how I got out of it. Um, you know, so I do that a couple times a year with our new hires, um, you know, and uh, it, it's, it can be difficult sometimes because some of these kids that we're hiring are 19, 20 years old. And they, they, you know, they don't they know. Been they, there they haven't been there yet. Yeah, haven't been there yet. They know? watched their TV yeah. Yeah. and yeah. Yes, see exactly. it in a different way. Exa- so exactly. how did the fire department that you work with, that you work for, how did they deal with this? Knowing one of their one of their guys was dealing with alcohol. He's going to rehab. Yeah. Tell us a little about that because there's others out there that want to come out yes. and let people know I've got that struggle, but they're scared. Yeah, they. Um, it was funny because you know I hit, I did hide it so well. Um, nobody, nobody at work knew. Um, the day, the day before I left, uh, I was at work and I, I decided to tell my crew, uh, as well as my my battalion chiefs and. Um, and you know my my crew was was beside themselves because they they didn't know, uh, which is fine. You know what I mean? I, I that's what you know alcoholics do. They they, they hide stuff. Um, you know, and I called my both my battalion chiefs and told them. I said, hey, I got you know, I got some uh, issues going on. I didn't tell them exactly what was going on. Um, I said I got some issues going on that uh, I need to go take care of. Uh, I'm probably going to be gone a month month and a half, probably two months. And uh, of course, you know they they were concerned. Um, which is good, and um, you know they didn't they didn't pry too much. They 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 basically just said whatever you need. If you need more time off, let me know. Um, and and when I was up there, they did call uh, frequently to check in on me to see how things were going. Because um, at that at the center of excellence, uh, you only get so much phone time. Uh, it's like three days a week for an hour. Um, they don't want you to have too much influence from the outside. Yes. You got to concentrate on your recovery. You bet. Um, but I had a lot of people from work, even people that I, I didn't consider like being real, real close to. Uh, would call, leave me messages, or you think text it's because message. so many could relate. Yes, and I know think, they yes, were within so. maybe a drink of yes, being where yes, you were, yes. or a I, th- I think so. I think so. A so. needle, or <laughs> um, yeah. So um, you know, when I got out and came back, you know, came back to work, um, I even took some more time off before I went back to work because I didn't know if I wanted to go back to work uh, as a firefighter. Um, you know, I didn't know if I was ready or not, and and uh, took probably another three weeks off before I went back and. I kind of contemplated it, and you know, my wife was 100% supportive. Which whatever I wanted to decide to do, you know, 
uh, she was good with because uh, she was concerned about <laughs> about my well-being as well. You, you know? bet. Um, so, um, but there was there was something in me that this that said I needed to go back um, to to spread my message because uh, I know after being going through the, uh, the center and meeting other people that I'm not the only one that, that has gone through this. I'm not the only one going through this stuff. Um, you know, and it's very difficult to get out of, uh, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so uh, when I came, when I decided to come back, I had, you know, a lot of, a lot of people came up to me and, and uh, you know, told me how proud they were uh, about me stepping up because uh, it is a hard thing to do, it, especially, oh. you know, not just for a man or a firefighter to say, hey, listen, I, I got a problem. I need, I, I, help. I, need I need help. And it, well, it was a very difficult decision to, to, to do that. Sure. You know? Society's uh, done that to us, yes. especially as guys, <laughs> it, 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 I yes, think. Yeah. I don't yes, want to speak yes, for you yes, ladies, yes, but yes. I know uh, it has that sky. Yes, um, exactly. Uh, so, I um, mean, I've had nothing but 100% support uh, from work. Uh, you know, the, everybody has been really good, constantly so, checking on me, uh, you know, uh, see how I'm doing and stuff like that. So it's it's been it's been fulfilling for me so what is the difference now let's say you go out on a call and it's a tragedy you, you another yeah. young person loses uh, their it's, life it's kinda, how do you deal with that today it, it's funny you say that you know I, I told you i was a black cloud and and my, my first shift back uh we ended up having a trauma alert with a 13 year old girl um but she ended up making it um a week later we had a, a fatality in a fire um 11 year old girl uh she didn't make it um, at a neighboring uh, department from ours. Um, and then after the uh, week after that, we had a uh, three-year-old drowning. Um, so it, it was one of these things, and, and you know, everybody always called me a black cloud, and I'm like, it is what it is. Yes, it's, you know, I, I think I was put on this planet to, to deal with that so other people don't have to uh, quite as much. Um, but, uh, you know, when you go through a recovery uh, center for, for mental health or substance, uh, you know, they give you a lot of tools um, you know, to deal with that, that, that issue, those issues, um, especially if they were a problem with you before, um, you know, and on the, the first call, I was like, man, here it goes. This <laughs> I, is the test, this is the, right? this is the test, you know, I got to open up my toolbox and start, you know, working all this. And, and believe it or not, I, I was, I was better, uh, at it than I thought I was going to be, um, you know, cause I was nervous cause it was, you know, oh, you had to be, I mean, cause man, this it led me down a, a bad spiral, uh, you know, before, uh, and then now I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. You know, um, I just took my cognitive distortions that I had for it and I just made a, you know, positive affirmations, you know, for it. So, um, it's one of the kind of things they, they teach you to, to do there and, uh, which, which is, which is good. Um, but everybody in the department, you know, if, if there's a bad call, I'm on it. You know, I have a lot of people that call and say, Hey man, how you doing? You know, uh, I know it was, it was a crappy call. So no, I'm, I'm good. Believe it or not, I'm, I'm, I'm really good. So, awesome. Uh, and I've been able to identify, you know, my, my, my crew as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, talk to them about it, you know. So, um, you know, what I had to go through, uh, it really sucked. Uh, but I'm kind of glad I did. But you, it can be used. It, it, it can be used for good. And that's yeah, the yeah. important so, thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. And I think that's the, when you can deal with a tragedy or a loss, yes. turn it into something yes. positive. positive. It yes. doesn't change 100%. the result. It doesn't bring no. that no, light it does not. back. No. It doesn't change no. that moment, exactly. but it changes us for the next moment, and I think makes us more effective. Because if you're carrying all that baggage with you into a yes. trauma situation, <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. you can't be the you you want to be. No, you can't. You can't, and you're and you're, and you're not any good to anybody on scene either. Uh, you know what I mean? And uh, I know I noticed there was some apprehensive with my crew, you know, on those oh, yeah. calls, you know, because they were they were worried about me. And, and I looked at them. I said, "I'm good. Just we'll just do our job, man. I, we'll, we'll get through it." You know. And I'm I, sure they could see that yeah, in yeah, no and, and time. Could, yeah, this could. is a different yes, tone. Yes, hundred percent. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's been good. You know, like I said, it, it was a crappy thing to go through, but I'm I'm kind of glad I did because I'm, I'm where I'm at now. You know, what I mean. Um, I've been at the most peace with myself uh, that I have in, in decades. Right uh, for you. You know, so it's been good. It's been, it's been a, what would, what's a word of advice you'd give to a firefighter out there who's struggling with alcohol, drugs, depression, PTSD, the list goes on and on. Uh, what would you like to say to them? Uh, talk to somebody. It's, it's not a big deal, man. We all go through it. Uh, we've all experienced it. Uh, the biggest thing is to, to be open about it uh, and honest, you know. Uh, if something bothers you, 
it's no big deal. It's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, biggest thing is just to talk about it. It better bother you in some yeah, ways. Yeah, it's it's true, be, yeah. I can't yeah. imagine. I would think every call you go out on builds the callus it, it a does. little uh, deeper. You know, in this, in this industry, there's a lot of death and destruction, you know. Um, and it just, it, it's never going to stop. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's always going to be there. So that's why we have jobs. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Um, the biggest thing is just to be, to, to talk to people about it, you know, and, 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 and be concerned for other people, you know, talk, yeah. ask them yeah. how they're doing. Um, you know, cause there's a lot of, you know, a lot of times that people are like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Um, but you know, just con- constantly talk to people and be open and honest about how you feel and, and you know, it, it'll help them. So. Yeah, and I would think seeing a healthy you builds a oh, it's, a stronger it's, department. I think, yes. uh, I think it. I think it. You has. know the trust yes. from your fellow yes. firefighters. Yes. It's yeah. not a. We've question. had uh, since I came since I came back. We've had uh, in our department a, a few other people that have come forward, uh, you know, with issues, and they've went to the center of excellence, and um, it, it's made a big difference in, in, in their lives. I, I think. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you can tell, you can see a difference in, in a lot of people. That, well, you were big enough, man, even when you felt so weak <laughs> that you couldn't ask for help. Yes. You asked for help, you <laughs> yeah. got it. Now yep. others are following yes. in your yeah. foot. So yeah. it's, 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 uh, it's good, man. It, it really is. It's been, a, it's been a good life so far, you know. Um, I've been happy with it. Um, you know, like I said, I'm still trying to find, you know, find my way. But, you know, it's, um, I'm a different person now. Yeah. So I can write whoever I want to be. Yes, yes, <laughs> you know? yes. And you're doing that daily. Yes. So give the folks out there a couple of tools that you picked up that you think could be a help to them should they be struggling with, you know, those suicidal yeah. ideations, um, those you, thoughts. For me, uh, for me, um, I, you have to be uh, honest with yourself. Um, I have to be honest with myself on how I'm feeling for that day um, and, and, and have a support group or somebody that you can go to and say, hey, listen, um, I'm not having a good day today or, hey, I'm having a great day today. Um, you know, and for me, uh, it's important for me for diet and exercise. Um, a healthy diet oh. uh, is, is extremely important. And uh, for me, I have to get that exercise in. I have to get some of that, that uh, pent up energy out, um, you know, and even believe it or not for me. Um, meditation uh i meditate uh a lot so what's meditation to you for me i basically just i'll go outside and i'll I'll lay on the ground in the sun and and just sit there and listen to the birds uh, the squirrels uh you know the whole nine yards and kind of reconnect with uh you know with myself um and another thing that my wife and i do which is you know it's kind of silly but it works very well um is we do a lot of jigsaw puzzles together um, especially when I'm having a, a hard day, um, you know, she'll get a jigsaw puzzle and, and, and I'll be, I'll be damn. I, I hate every, the first 10 minutes of it. I hate every bit of it. Cause I don't want to do this shit. You know what oh. I mean? But, but after about 10, 15 minutes, uh, my, my brain switches over and starts concentrating on, you know, putting the pieces that together. That would stress me out. Yeah. Instead of bring my stress level down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want my, I want to do the last piece yeah. and she'll seldom let me do that. Yeah. yeah so, I mean, and everybody has something different that works for them. And, and you just got to find what works for you, you know what I mean? So, and you're um, finding that yeah, obviously. Fi- yeah. So it, it's yeah, as you redesign yourself, rebrand your personal logo, yeah, kind yes, of thing. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, listen, thank you, thank you very much. Thank I you for it. sharing with us here on Faith in Your Recovery. Thank you for your service. Thank to, you, I appreciate that. You know, to uh, what is it, North Point? Is uh, that North where? Northport, Charlotte, Charlotte North County, Florida? Port. Yeah. Yes, Charlotte. yes. yes. Thank you for very much. your service very welcome. to folks it was, there. It was a pleasure. This was fun. I enjoyed it. Good. <laughs> and thank you for stepping up and, and finding a solution awesome. to your battle, your problem, you. because you've already said it's leading others to the yes. victory. Yes, so it is. Uh, awesome. We appreciate that. We hope you'll take care. God bless. Good to have you here. Have a safe trip back to Florida. When are you going home? Uh, Saturday. Going home Saturday. So yes, you're going to have been here, what, like four days? Uh, kind five, of, five days. Five days. Yeah. yeah. Five cool. days of cold weather. Uh, <laughs> you can deal with it. We <laughs> yeah. deal with it all year yeah, long <laughs> until we get about three days in August. Yeah. It'll burn you up. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> those aren't here mm, yet. That's funny. Well, once again, thank you for your time, Anthony File. Uh, Safe journey. Thank you. Continue with the recovery. We're proud of you. God bless. Thank you.